Okay, students, so we have got this part. This is the frame. And uh, what it says, generate fully detailed orthographic drawing of part one, the frame. Okay, so this is part number four. So part number four starts from here and ends here. And this is part number five. Okay, this is actually five. This is five A, five. this is five B, this is B, actually it's not six. Five C and five D, okay? So question number five has got, part five has got six, four sub parts. One, two, A, B, C, D, you can say A, B, C, D. So if I'm unable to do this, you can do it yourself. I'm going to do for, for the frame. Okay, right now in this, in this session, I'm going to do this part, okay? So what it says, generate fully detailed orthographic drawing of part one, the frame. So we have to generate fully detailed orthographic drawing and there is nothing, no information about the section views. So we are not going to section any view. We are going to make three necessary views, which are actually the front, the top and the right view, okay? So I will open my assembly, uh, the, the part file of the frame. This is the part file of the frame. And then I will click on make drawing from part assembly. Okay. And this is actually the sheet. So you have to change everything over here. Okay. And then what we'll do, we will go to model. And this is part one. Part one is actually our frame. And we are going to click next. So we will click on this front. This is the front, this is the front view, this is the right view, and this is the top view, and over here you have got the set, the isometric view. Click OK, done, move this isometric view over here. Click on this shaded with edges, so it's going to be shaded with edges, and click OK. Okay, click on this one, you will, you will make you will click on this option, hidden lines visible, hidden lines visible in all three of them. Remember in part files, we do make, we do show hidden lines, but in assembly, we do not show hidden lines, okay? And you can click okay. Now you can remove the tangent edges, the tangent edges are there. So just remove the tangent edges, remove tangent edges from here, remove tangent edges from here as well, okay? And remove tangent edges from the third one. Okay, so the tangent edges are removed and you will get this thing. Now, the you can increase the scale. For example, if I make it one is to one, it becomes very large. So make it custom size one, ratio 1.5. Click OK and there it is, okay. So this is, this is the scale and remember that the distance between the views must be must be equal, okay? The distance between the views must be equal. Now click OK, it's done. Okay, what has happened over here? Why these two are different actually? This is what I'm seeing, why these two are different. If I see from the front, they are actually the same. I mean, it should be like this. There shouldn't be any edge over here. Now, because these are, you know, this is the tangent edge and this is also the tangent edge, which is for, which is, which is for the backside, but they are somehow visible. I don't know. Let's check it. We will have to change the part file. They are same, but SolidWorks, you know, for this, for this one, because you know, this is the mirror image. This is the mirror image. We have taken the mirror image of this one and they, they should be, they should be same. I don't know anyways, if you get, if you see these types of problem, do not worry about it. Because this side was the, this is the mirror image of this one. Okay. This is how we made the part. Okay, anyways. 
Now, what is part A actually? Add remove section to show the elliptical to cross section of the elliptical column. Now we have to come here and we have to click on remove section. Now, what is remove section? You can go back to this slide. So you know about remove section, what it is. So we have to go back to chapter eight. Let's open this one. Okay, this is the remove section. The remove section is actually a section view. If you have uh, something very small, okay, you can make it big. A remove section is one that cannot be in direct projection from view. So it is not in direct projection of view containing the cutting plane, that it is not positioned in agreement to the standard arrangement of views. So this is not actually in position with a standard arrangement of you. So you can come back here. And there is an option for remove section. Look at this one. So you click on this remove section. Now what it says, select two, select two model edges of, of opposed or partially opposed geometry between which a solid body can be cut. So you have to select an edge and it's opposite edge, opposite edge. Okay, so I want to, this is elliptical column. So I'm going to select this edge. Okay, this is selected and now, now select the opposed edge. This is the opposed edge. Now you will see a line over here. Now there is a line when I move the cursor over here, you can move it up and down depending where, which, which, which elliptic, elliptical cross section you want. If I want the elliptical cross section of this middle portion, so I can come here and click okay. Okay, so what it says, remove section. Wait a minute, let's go back again and do this one again. Remove section, click on this, click on this, and there it is. Okay, this is the elliptical section, okay? So this is the remove section. Now why it was doing something different? Let's go back and see. Remove, go to remove section, click on this one, this one, come here, and there it is. Yes, it's fine. This is the remove section. So delete this one. I don't know what happened. Delete. So it's gone. This is the remove section. Okay, so this is the section view of, of this. So when you cut it from here, you will see this ellipse. So you can see that it's actually an ellipse. So if you come back here to this one, Okay, and uh, go to the isometric. And if you section this, so this is this is elliptical, you know. So this is elliptical. So that's why you are seeing the elliptical section. Okay. You can see this is elliptical. That's why you are seeing over there the elliptical cross section. So you cut it. And then you see it from the top, whatever you see from the top or from the bottom, you see an ellipse like this. Okay. This is the remove section that's done. Okay. One more thing. You can place this remove section anywhere. You can break the alignment. You can come here to the alignment and you can break the alignment. You can break the alignment. And after breaking the alignment, this can move, can, this can be moved anywhere. Okay. Like as shown over here. So this portion has been moved anywhere okay now what is the next part add revolve section to show the beam beams cross section so you have to add the revolve section so there it is this is the revolve section okay so you come here you go to this uh, revolve section okay this is done i think yes Okay, so for revolve section, there are two options. Look over here. 
Now, if you see this thing, either you have to cut, either you have to cut and then place the revolve section or you can straight away place the revolve section like over here. Over here, we haven't made the cut. We have just placed the revolve section on top of it. In this case, we have, you know, cut it and then place the revolve section. Both of them are correct. Okay, so you have, you can choose any of the option. So now we can come here and again, we can go to the remove section, okay? We can again go to the remove section. You can click on this edge and the bottom edge, and then we can place this section view over here. Okay, again, we can click, we can place it over here and we will place, we can place it like this, okay? So this is the revolve section like shown over here, okay? So if, if you want to be like this one, if you want to be like this one, what you have to do, you have to go to break views, select drawing view. So this is the drawing view, which I'm going to select. So click over here, select the location outside which the break view, okay. So first of all, remove move this away, move this away because this is making trouble. Okay, so move this away and you can break the alignment, break the alignment. Okay, when I break alignment, you can move it anywhere you want. Okay, delete this line. Okay, delete this line. Oh, everything is gone. Now, what you can do, go to break, click on this one, place it here, place over there on the other side and click OK. Now, what you can do, you can bring it over here like this. If you think that it's not coming properly, click on this one and increase the distance from if it's a millimeter, change it into millimeters. Increase the distance from 0 0.15 to 2, for example. Okay, so this is going to separate. Okay, click again. Okay, so make it like 35. Okay. When you make it 35, what happened? Click on this one, 35. 35 and click OK. I was pressing Enter, that's why I think yes. So if you think that this is more, then you can make it 30, okay, like this. So this is what, this is actually the remove section and you can adjust it, zoom it and just adjust it like this, okay? So this is the remove section. So the remove section is again, can be taken from, uh, sorry, revolve section. This is called the revolve section. It is can again be taken from the remove section option. Now, what is the third thing? Add detail view to zoom the keyway. Now we have to add the detail view. The detail view is actually to zoom the keyway. Where is the keyway actually? There it is. So the keyway is over here. This is called the keyway. Now go to this detail view. Click on this detail view. Okay. Now Please select the circle to continue view creation. Sketch the circle. So we have to sketch the circle. Now I have to make a circle, you know, like this. And that the, anything which comes inside the circle will be zoomed. So remember, I am going to place a first point is actually the center. You have to first select the center of the circle and then the edge of the circle. So let's select this point, which is actually the center of the circle and select this, which is actually the end of the circle. So anything which comes inside the circle will be selected and you can place it anywhere. Now what's written A is written over here. You can place this over here and you can see that it's written detail A scale to ratio 1.5. Okay, so this is two times. So you can see it's one ratio 1.5 and this is, you know, it's two ratio 1.5. Two ratio 1.5 means it's bigger than one ratio 1.5, okay? If you increase this number to three, this number to three, this is going to become bigger. So three ratio 1.5 is actually two is to one. It's the same thing. Three ratio 1.5 is two is to one. You can further increase it. You can make it like, for example, you can further increase it to, where is it? Oh no, I have, I have to select this one. I have to select because this is the text. So I can say it like four is to one, for example, 
4 is to 1 and click OK. So this is going to become more big. So you can zoom it. OK, and you can zoom it and place it anywhere you want. OK. So this this option, which is which is actually add detail view to zoom, to zoom the key way, this is used to zoom these small things like over here. This is actually this remove section. Remove section means it's not in the direct alignment, but this is actually the detail view. This is the detail view, but is it is removed from here. It is not in direct projection, as you can see that. You see these, you know, these are in direct projection. If you move this up, if for example, I move this thing up, the other moves up, other moves with this uh, view. If I move this left or right or wherever, the other views move, they are in direct projection, but this one is not in direct projection. As you can see, if I'm moving this, this one is not moving, okay? So it's not in the direct projection actually. This is, but this one you can see it's in direct projection. When I'm when I'm changing this, this elliptical column is also changing. Okay, so this is what it says. Okay, let's move it over here. You can adjust. Okay. So now this one looks okay, one looks nice. Okay, so we have done the detail view. Uh, sorry, yes. The detail view, the revolve section and the remove section. We have done these three things. To show the elliptical, we have shown the elliptical. Uh, show all dimensions in the standard form. So you have to add all dimensions and apply tolerances as given at the bottom out of the exercise. You have to add all dimensions. I'm going to say that you will do it yourself. So you have to add the dimensions. For example, go to annotations, go to smart dimension and uh, click on this one, this one and add the dimensions. Okay, like this. And you have the hole over here, click on this, click on this, and you can add the dimensions. Click on this, click on this, you have got the dimension. Okay, this is, this is over here, click on this one. And this one, and this is, this is actually the key way, you know. This is the, this is because of the key way, this, that's why, but otherwise it's, it's uh, 16. Click on this and click on this and make it 16. You can add 16 and then write a note over here. Okay. You can say three multiply by 16. Okay. So it means that there are three holes. Each hole has got a diameter of 16. Okay. And uh, like this one, like shown over here. Okay. And you can, or you can, you can add this diameter on this side as well. Instead of making diameters over here, you can add it over here as well like uh, go to smart dimensioning click on this one this is 16 you can say this is 3 multiplied by 16 this is x actually multiplication is not this is x so you can choose the small x and then you have this over here smart dimension this is 22 Okay, this diameter is 48. This is the big diameter. This one is the diameter of the hole, which is actually 22. Okay, and then you have the diameter of the inside, a small one, which is actually radius is eight. 
okay so when you have a complete circle it always give you the diameter when you have the incomplete circle it always gives you the solid box always give you the radius and then you have this distance from here till here is how much it's 70 okay and from this side to this side is how much it's 120 okay similarly from here till here is 70 from this side this side is actually 120 okay so you can come here and you can you know change the style if you want smart dimensioning rapid dimensioning expert letters this these the, you can change the options if you want from here break lines okay and custom text positions you can choose different styles from here okay anyways i was actually thinking of this thing you uh, how can we make this now this is actually because of this thing you know remove section when you have when you have these lines over here break view lines so you are always going to get this okay because this is not you know definite this is not exact 70 millimeter according to the scale but because we have placed these views that's why it's going to come now you can add few more drawings now remember you have to add all the dimensions okay all the dimensions and the dimensions you have to add those dimensions so that if i give you if i give you this uh, drawing you can make this part you are able to make this part the dimension should be so much that if i give you this drawing you you should be able to make this part so you have to add all the dimensions over here okay and uh, now the dimensions of the holes is done now for the keyway you can come here and click on this okay now you can add it here it's 1.7 millimeter and this distance is 3.2 millimeter now what is the advantage if i try to add this 1.7 and 3.2 over here it's going to be very difficult now look what is the advantage the advantage is that the advantage of having the detail views that you can you know now play add these dimensions properly 1.7 and 3.2 like this so you know that it is actually 1.7 and 3.2 from this drawing okay so this is keyway 3.2 into 1.7 as you can see okay now what else you have to add all the dimensions so we are going to add this width this width as well okay so we can come here click on this one okay now by doing this what's happening our our dimension lines are coming inside so let's choose this view so just click on this end but if I choose this one, that's not going to be very, you know, it's not going to be very clear. So choose this one. OK, click on this one and this one. Choose this end, this end. Sorry. This one, this is not correct. Go to dimension, this end. And this edge. No. Now it is automatically selecting that. So we have to, you know, select this point and smart dimension this and, and this point and like this okay 
this is four millimeter as you can see this is 34 now this 34.9 is not it's not correct actually this is not 34.9 from end to end it is actually a different value so click select this one okay this side you know i think it's not selected this end now it's selected this end and over here okay so it's difficult you know <clears throat> Now this is 30 actually, this is 30 and this is four. Okay, so let's do it in this way. So from here to here is four. Go to the smart dimension, click on this end and this end this one Click on this line and this line now it's okay so this is 30 this is 4 similarly select this line and you have to zoom it otherwise this is 4 as well okay similarly as you can see from here this is 4 this is 4 this radius is r3 this is 26 as you can see from center to this is 26 so you can have a dimension over here as well this is 26 click on this and this this is 28 sorry not 26 this is 28 okay and then you have to fill everything you have to come back and see all these you have to see all these dimensions and you have to put all the dimensions on the three views so this is actually one view and over here you have more space you have got three views okay like this you are going to do it and uh, the last thing is about the elliptical column how to do this dimension now this is you know this is tricky now, when we come to this elliptical column, it doesn't allow us to dimension this, okay? And uh, you can see that we have got the major diameter and minor diameter, Ma minor diameter is 12 and major diameter is not there, but there is a minor diameter over here, okay? Which is actually 12. So, because the major diameter is changing, over here it's tangent, so the major diameter is changing from, from the diameter, which is, which is the diameter of this one, major diameter is changing, the diameter of the ma the major diameter is actually what is this diameter this big one if we see i think it's 48 and this one is uh, 32 this is 32 as you can see and this is actually for 48 i think there there it is 48 so the major diameter is changing from 48 to 32 okay so we do not need to mention major diameter but we are going to mention the minor diameter which is 12 so we have to come here and we have to mention this minor diameter now you can you know mention the di minor diameter over here click on the smart dimensions and click on this one and this one and see if it is coming okay so this is not coming actually click on this point and this point Okay, we do not have an option here. What we can do now in this case, go to sketch and place a point over here. Okay, place a point over here. Come here and go to sketch and place a point over here. This is what we can do. The point is not at the proper position. It should be at the intersection. Click on this point and this line, and uh, this should be at the top of this. Okay, so 
Okay, let's go there. Click on this one and this line, which is this edge. Press the control key, click on this. Add relations. Click on this line. No, it's not selecting actually. Okay. Now there is no option other than just, you know, going to this and placing a point like this. Now you can have, you can, you can enter this dimension, click on this one and this one, and now it's going to be 12. Make it 12, one, two, okay. This is 12 and like that you can enter the dimensions, okay. So you have to complete and there should be all dimensions. All the dimensions should be in the drawing. If you give this drawing to someone, he should be able to, he should be able to make the part. Okay, now what is next? If we come down, this is important actually. Apply all tolerances as given in the bottom note of the exercise. These fittings dimensions should be shown as limit sizes with three decimal places. There should be three decimal places and there should be limit sizes so you have to apply tolerances as given in the bottom note of the exercise. Now see the bottom note of the exercise. Now we are working on the frame right now. So where is the frame? Design as follows, bushing fit in the pulley. Now bushing fit in the pulley means, this means we have this pulley and we have this bushing. There is a, there is a tolerance between the, or the fit or the tolerance, bit, for tolerance and fit between the bushing and the pulley. So we are now, right now, this has nothing to do with the frame. Okay, look at, look where, where the frame is. Sharp fit in the bushing, no. Sharp fit in the frame. Now this, there it is, the frame is here. And what is the fit between them? Sharp fit in the frame. This is the shaft and it's going to fit in the frame. Now, of course, this part of the shaft is going to fit here and this part of the shaft is going to fit here. Now for both of them, there is actually a sliding fit. Okay. So you have to come back here to your blackboard, your blackboard, and I have entered the table. You have this table in your book as well. So if you come here to the exam classwork, okay, so you can see this table over here. And this table is actually from the book. So you can come here, preferred fits of tables. This is page number 565. Okay, so what is it? It is actually the sliding fit. You can see sliding rating over here. Bring the book in exam and always select the whole basis system. Do not select the soft basis system. This says, you know, this has got a star over here. Do not select it until it is asked you to select the sharp basis system. So what it is sliding fit. So sliding fit is H7, G6. For the whole, it's going to be H7. For the sharp, it's going to be G6. So right now we have got the holes. We have got the holes. Now this is the shaft. This portion is the shaft. This portion is also the shaft. So for this one and this one, you have tolerance G6 as it's written there. Okay. Where is it gone? Okay, there it is. Okay. G6 is for the shaft and H7 is for the holes, no matter how many holes you have. Okay, for holes you have H7 and for shaft you have H6, uh, G6. So come back to that drawing. Yes, there it is. This is the shaft, this is the shaft. For this it's G6. This is the hole and this is the hole. For these two holes you have what? H7. So I'm going to come here to my drawing and I'm going to apply tolerance for these two. Okay, now, this is R8, this is actually the inside one. Okay, I can remove this from here. I can remove this from here and I can remove this from here. I can add these two over here. Okay, now what type of tolerance it has? 
You can add it there as well. It doesn't matter. But the problem is that I do not have, you know, the. Okay, let's add the center line. Center line. Maybe that's going to work. Okay, center line for this one, for this one. Okay, center line for this one, for this one. Okay, you have got the center line for this one. Okay. For this and this, we have got a center line. Okay, I think this is not selected. Select the center line, this one and this one. There is a center line for this one and this one. There is a center line. So you have got these center lines. Okay. Now for this one, okay, cross this. Click on this. You have an option for tolerance. So what I'm going to choose, I will choose fit with tolerance. And it is actually what type of fit it is? It's a press fit actually. Okay, now we are actually given the tolerance for the, is it a press fit? No, it's not a press fit. Let's come back to this slide. Yes, it's a clearance fit. Sliding, it is, it is intended to run freely, but to move and turn and, and locate accurately. So this is actually, this is the sliding and this is the transition and these are the interference. So it's, you know, at seven G six, it comes in the sliding fit. So come back here. And it's not press, it's either trans, sliding is going to be either come in clearance or transition, okay? So let's click on the clearance and find out if there is S7 over here or not. If there is S7, that's fine. Okay, S7 is there. I think this S7 is going to come in transition as well. If I click on transition, S7 is again going to come. Okay, you can choose any one. Okay, I mean, this, this one is not important. I mean, this is not going to, we, we are having all the, all the values irrespective of selecting this. So we have got H7. So we have this H7 over here and the tolerance is actually 0 and 0, 0. 0.002. Now it is said in the in the drawing in the document that this should be three decimal. Okay, up to three decimal places. So we are going to come back here and we will select three decimal. Okay, so the decimal numbers are going to be three. So 0 0.0 to 1 to 0 0.000. This is actually the tolerance range. Okay. So that's it. If if you want fit only, then this is only the fit. But if you want to show fit with tolerance, okay, then this is going to come. And if you want to show fit on this fit, this is the fit actually. And this is the tolerance and fit and this one is tolerance only you can see tolerance only okay so this is tolerance only there is no fit fit is actually the symbol okay so select this one so this is going to give you that so this is done this is selected now we have to select for the for this side as well for this one so we know that it's 16 now when i come to the smart dimension and dimension this this is actually eight, but the problem is that I cannot select this because the upper side, they, this is the keyway. These two lines are because of the keyway. So I am going, I have to come here. So I'm going to come and select this one. Okay, smart dimension, select this circle. This is eight. Okay, now you have got this eight. And you can come here. Now this is radius actually. If you want, you can select the diameter, mod diameter. Okay, so when you click on mod diameter, it's going to give you the diameter. Okay. 
delete this one and select this file and select okay let's see if it changes or not no it's not changing it is again coming this there is an option to change this r value from from radius to diameter you can change it i think there it is okay this is fine so you can click on this one and this is going to give you the diameter value and uh, what else now you have to go to back the fits so fit with tolerance and it is actually again you can choose anyone clearance or transition this is again h7 h7 okay and choose this to three decimal places choose this to three decimal remember these values changes with the diameter because diameter over here is 16 so this tolerance band is this tolerance is actually 0 0.018 if it's 22 then it's going to be different okay now this is done now come back to the sheet and see if there any anything else with for the for the frame shaft fits in the frame pin fit in the frame so what it is actually it's a free running fit now we have fully hub length plus washers fit in the frame okay first come to this one pin fit in the frame free running fit so we are going to come back to this one pin fit in the frame so there it is so what was it what was that pin fit in the frame free running fit so come back to this one where it is free running free running is actually clearance fit you can see it's h9 so we are looking for the for the hole actually okay so in the frame you have got the hole and it's h9 so come and select this h9 come back to the drawing and select this h9 okay so this is going to be h9 mod dimension okay so this is going to be h9 clearance fit and h9 select this h9 and make it three decimal places there it is okay and what we can do click on this one and change this text to two multiply by x because you know the two multiply by okay so there are actually two holes so delete this one okay now this is for actually for these two and now this one has got you know this hole this has got different fit so that's why I have written two multiplier because this has got different, different fit. Okay. So 